This video explains how to rename the index of a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create a pandas data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And then we can also print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. And you can also see that our index values do not have an index name yet. So let's assume that we want to change the index name of our pandas data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this case, I'm naming our index name index underscore name. So after running this line of code, our data frame is updated. And we can see that by printing the data frame once again below the code box. And then you can see that our new data frame contains the same values as our input data frame. However, this time we have set the name of the indices to the character string index underscore name. We can also set the values and the column name of a certain column of our pandas data frame as the index, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm using the set index function to set the values and the column name x3 as our index. And I'm storing the output of the set index function in a new data frame object that I'm also calling data. So I'm overwriting our previously created data frame. So after running these lines of code, you can see below the code box that the third column x3 has been set as the index of our data frame. And you can also see that the index name of our index is x3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.